One, two, three, clap. Hi, and welcome to Hey Buddy, Nice Podcast. Over there in Scotland, swooning over a boy like Louise swoons over Boo Boo. That is Brogan Hastings. And over there in Australia, showing off his Bob's Burgers knowledge now that he's actually watched some. It's Wayne Giovanazzi. Yeah. Yeah. My boy! You know, my whole plan was... My boy. So, people have told me to watch these things. Mm -hmm. Bob's Burgers, Community... Um, Parks and Recs, which I always have, have had intentions on watching, right? Mm, yeah. Right? Because I, 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 I've, I've watched the first episode of Community. I've mm-hmm. watched the first episode of Parks and Recs. But other things happen. I, I get distracted and I just don't watch them, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. So my idea was watch all these things mm-hmm. in secret and then do a Jacob the Audio Guy to Paul Mattingly with Evon, Evangelion, Neon Genesis, and then just start dropping quotes and shit mm-hmm. and see how long it takes them to notice. Yeah. But I couldn't do that. No. It's like, I'm watching Bob's Burgers. It's too good. I need to talk about this. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we can't, look, I don't, I, don't, I don't want Bob's Burgers to be the topic of conversation this episode. I feel like I've brought that up a couple of times. I don't want the nanny to be the topic of conversation this episode because that has been probably a good one third of the episodes. Certainly since I started watching it. But yes, the boy I was swooning over was yeah. Nanny Davis as pair. Correct. Possibly may or may not have been thinking about him with tentacles. I was not thinking about him with tentacles, but... Okay. He's perfect as but it he is. Wouldn't, it, 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 wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't break the deal? No, there's, there's, a, there's a Cthulhu <laughs> AU in there somewhere. Cthulhu AU, is that the Aussie Cthulhu? Cthulhu alternate universe. Yeah, yeah. Am uh, I, I going to have to write that? I feel universe. like I might have to write that. Yeah, that, that, that should be what I read for the patrons. <laughs> that fan fiction. <laughs> Why not? Uh, which, yeah, we will get... Uh, that's still not a guaranteed thing for, for the patrons, is the no. nanny fanfic being read out. It no. may, because I haven't gotten around to doing it yet, no. and Brogan has to approve. So, yeah. Um, oh, is there any Halloween episode? I said we're not going to make it the topic, but is there any Halloween episodes of the nanny? I don't think so. Oh wow, that's 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 see. I like it when shows do Halloween episodes, um, because uh, there was a Bob's Burgers Halloween episode there's where they go a, to Kings Island or whatever it's called. There's a there's quite a few Halloween episodes for yeah. Bob's Burgers. Yeah. Uh, but I think I think the the show that did it the best. Did you ever watch Two Guys a Girl in a Pete's Place? No. Really? Oh my god. What what are what are you, what are your feelings towards Nathan Fillion? Mixed. Okay. Because there was some stuff that went, I was like, whoa. And I can't, but I can't remember what okay. it was. I know there was, there was something for a while that I was like, just, I don't know. I, it, it was maybe he was defending Joss Whedon or something like that. I can't remember uh, exactly. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. All right. All right. But what I'm trying to get at is maybe that would be why if your mixed feelings were, were to do with other things, because you are not, you are, you do not know young Nathan Fillion from Two Guys a Girl in a Pizza Place. I don't know from that. I know I know him from Firefly and probably earlier would be Buffy. <clears throat> yes, yeah, Firefly and Buffy. But uh yeah, Two Guys a Girl in a Pizza Place, you've got peak young Nathan Fillion. In mm-hmm. terms of I'm gonna say uh his physical condition. <laughs> Let, let's go with that in terms of peak. Um but no, uh, he he was in that. Um, well, I can't remember where I was going with it. Nathan Fillion, Two Guys, Girl and Pizza Place. Oh, I was talking about Halloween episodes. Yes. Because their Halloween episodes were not... Uh, yes, it's a sitcom, right? Mm-hmm. But it, it it is still keeping a uh, uh, through storyline through mm-hmm. the episodes. Yeah. All right. Oh, my God. And Ryan Reynolds as well. My Ryan God. Reynolds was... Oh, this rings a bell, actually. Ryan Reynolds. Is it's Ryan Reynolds is one of the two guys. He's I've not never heard of this. He's not I've a pizza never place. Seen this. Really, it's a, it's actually a pretty decent show. You should watch it. Two guys go. Ryan Reynolds, mm-hmm. uh, Nathan Fillion. Nathan Fillion. Uh, I don't think he's in it from the start. I think he comes in maybe after a first season or something like that. Anyway, uh, but yeah, it's um, uh, good. Good show. You should watch it. Just yes. saying. Yeah. Uh, but their Halloween episodes are more standalone mm. because 
like weird shit happens in them like some of them die in in the episodes and shit like that it's, it's really good mm-hmm. and then the next episode it's all just back to normal i like stuff like that so they do like yeah, they do a real Halloween episode. Yeah. yeah. I do like stuff that yeah. has Halloween episodes. I do have a folder on my OneDrive that's just Halloween episodes of certain things. That I'm like, yeah. I like this, yeah. 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 I mean, maybe The Simpsons started that love of Halloween episodes for me. Yeah, the Treehouse of Horror stuff was always good. Mm, yeah. Th- there was always a type of um, uh, episode that I always liked on TV shows. Mm-hmm. And I don't, know, I don't really know why, but it was any time... It took place in like a carnival or or a fair or something like that. Mm. Yeah, I, I don't know why. It's like, oh, this is going to be a good episode because it's taking place in a carnival. They're going to go into a haunted house or maybe the funny thing <laughs> over there and stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I can't think of any that like took place in a carnival. This isn't even as a kid either. This is just this now. Is like, no, not, not so much now. Because I, um, I was going to say you were uh, like as soon as the kids go into to Wonder Wharf and Bob's Burgers, I bet you're like, oh my mm. god, and not quite because Wonder Wharf is like a very run down. <laughs> like, it's like when they get the shark on Wonder Wharf. No, we're oh not making god. Bob's Burgers a topic. <laughs> I do love that song uh, that Jane sings. Uh, not afraid of ghosts, not afraid of sharks, <gasps> not afraid of cancer, but I am afraid I'm of snakes. I'm not afraid of there ghosts. There are their arms I'm and legs. Of... <laughs> it's I'm not, not afraid okay. of cancer. Yeah. <laughs> love it. Yes. I, I really like Jane as much as I like Louise. I love them all. They all have their, their mm. own specific personality. Like there's... Every time I think, oh, so and so's my favourite, there'll be an episode where I'm like, okay, I actually love them more. And there'll be another episode where I'm like, uh, I love them more. <laughs> yep. I, I absolutely hate Ollie and Andy until I learnt that it was voiced by the Silvermans. Oh, I. Sarah, yeah. I like Ollie and Andy because they're just, they're so sweet, but they're so dumb. They're just oh, yeah. like, no, no brain cells between them, whatever, <laughs> whatsoever. Uh, it's, I hate it. I hate it. I hate them. I hate them. I hate all of them. I hate that whole family, frankly. The whole, pe- all the pestos. Really? Yeah. At, at first, it was just Jimmy, and then it was uh, Ollie and Andy, and I hate Jimmy Junior now as well. They're just, I don't like them. I don't like the characters. That's all it is. I can understand that. I mean, mm. yeah, I think I like probably Ollie and Andy the best out of the four of them. But yeah, I don't yeah, know. Okay, yeah, yeah. You know what? You're right. You're right. You're right. But we're not making that a topic of conversation today. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> Uh, I, I was on Netflix, uh, and Kez discovered this, uh, I think there's three or four episodes of it. Mm-hmm. Um, they're, they're standalone shorts by Wes Anderson, mm-hmm. based on short stories of Royal Dahl. It's Roald Dahl. Roald Dahl. Sorry, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I do know that. It's just as a child, I always said Royal Dahl, mm-hmm. uh, just like I would say Calvin and Hobbies when it's <laughs> Calvin and Hobbes. <laughs> As a child, yeah, yeah, it's Roald Dahl, yes. Uh, and they look f- fantastic, Mr. Fox, Wes mm-hmm. Anderson, stop motion, Roald Dahl. Uh, see, to me, I sound I sound like I'm saying roll, mm-hmm. but you're probably hearing royal. It's like gladiators, yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Which gladiators Australia is coming back to television? Ooh, I did not know. Um, but yeah, I think. I think Wes Anderson and Roald Dahl is like a match made in heaven. Yes. And when you throw in the likes of um, Ray Fiennes, Richard Ayoade, uh, and people I've never seen before as well, it's oh, it's so good. Yeah, it, I'm, I'm it, having it a is... look through some of them just now because there's four that's mentioned on here. Uh, the Wonderful yes. Story of Henry Sugar, The Swan, The yep. Ratcatcher, and Poison. But it's like some of the names mm-hmm. of the cast, like Ben Kingsley, Dev Patel... Oh yeah, Sir Ben Kinsley. Sir Ben Kinsley. Sir Ben Kinsley. Um, um, Bender Smarch Snindabun. Yeah. As well. Yep. That one. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. Vander Snatch Bender Dick. That's it, isn't it? Bendy do- Doctor Bendy- Strange. Bendy Boy Cumberbund. That's it. Bendy Boy Cumberbund. <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, there, I mean, <clears throat> actually, no. That's that is all the cast, pretty much. Yeah. Rupert Friend and. Uh, yeah, that's it's the exact same cast over for them. <laughs> Rupert Friend. It must be Rupert Friend, who I've never seen before. I'm going to Google him now. It is, but I think I've fallen in love with Rupert Friend in the couple of episodes that he was in. I don't know who he is or what he's from. Oh, I've seen him in lots of 
stuff. He's one of these people that I just... He was in Hitman Agent 47 as Agent 47. Hmm. Yeah, the, the movie, that is. Yeah. Uh, on Rotten Tomatoes. It's got a four-star rating. That's not terrible. Not too shabby. Oh, no, sorry. That's Google. <laughs> <laughs> on Rotten Tomatoes, it's probably worse. Uh, let's see. Rupert Friend. What is Rupert Friend from? I think Dreamcorp LLC. Ooh, never I, heard of that. I think that's the thing that's after... Is it? Or am I getting confused? I was thinking that was the thing that was after... Uh, Penn's favorite thing, Patriot. Okay, but I, it, it's not. It's a no. That was something not. like Dreams Incorporated or something. <laughs> yeah. Look, the only thing I've seen some of that he is in is Homeland, um, and he's in fifty-seven episodes of it. And yeah, I do not recognize him at all. But um, it's it's that whole thing where oh, it is. I know. I know where I've seen him. I've seen him in Death of Stalin. <clears throat> oh, okay. Where he was Stalin, Stalin. Stalin's son. Uh, I saw that in the cinema. That oh. was. That was quite a good movie. A very strange cast, uh, but yeah. It, the thing is, it, it it takes a specific thing sometimes for me to make me fall in love with them that quick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like in the first episode I watched, it was the Rat Man, mm-hmm. and a- a- every episode is basically uh, it's almost like an audio book. Mm-hmm. It it is the tale being read. Yeah. By one narrator mm-hmm. who is. In the actual show, who, who who is a character, because like, it's like a first person account of an event. Okay, cool. Um, yep. But so, like Richard Ayoade, he is reading as the narrator. Um, so he he's saying, and then the Rat Man uh, produced uh, a small tin, and then he will quickly change from being the narrator and saying, "Oh wow, what's in that tin?" Mm. I said. So it's done like it's done really well. Okay. And there's an episode where um, this guy uh, uh, Rupert is doing that as well, mm. and he does it so well. Uh, oh. It's like my goodness, and um, he's staring at you the whole time with his baby blue eyes. So that might help. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Just just saying. Just saying. Is this is this the the episode where we talk about boys and our crushes? <laughs> Uh, no, because I did that on on my drawing stream mm-hmm. uh, when um, Gammy, uh, Seb, Sebastian Robbins was mm-hmm. talking about Celia Pacuola because he went and saw a comedy show with Celia Pacuola in the day before. Ah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not prepared to, to talk about that stuff now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm over it. <laughs> You sound sad. You always are so. You are always so excited when this happens. I remember last time you went. Ooh, are we going to talk about boys? Uh, I I yeah. never had sleepovers as a child through my own choice because I don't do sleepovers. Yeah, so I never good, had good boy choice. talk or yeah. love interest talk. <clears throat> it's no, it's nothing that I've ever talked about. It's not been a to- topic of conversation. I didn't have a celebrity crush until I was like in high school. Yeah, I don't think really. No. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Can't think of nothing. No. Because no. I, was, I, I, I was more into weirder shit, I think, is the thing. I think I think it was less that I had crushes on people and more like I wanted to be them. Like, mm, I, yeah, I, I okay. wanted to be Vegeta. I wanted to be yeah. uh, Captain Jack O'Neill. Mm. Colonel Jack O'Neill. I, even. No, yeah, definitely, yeah. I mean, some of that definitely with characters, but also people as well mm-hmm. it's like um gee i would like to be able to write as well as and be as funny as sean mccarliffe mm-hmm. and things like that yeah so yeah yeah hmm. and then david it's, Tennant uh, came along and i was in love yeah. <laughs> yeah so uh now it is the uh women want him whereas it used it is it, it's it used to be and men want to be him mm-hmm. so it reverse that order and yeah. that is for you mm-hmm. yeah yeah. But sometimes I'm still like, do I want to be them or do I want to worship them? I'm not quite sure. Mm. Worship. Worship sounds. Oh, God. Right. Do I want to worship right. the quicksand that CC Babcock works, works on? Okay, yeah, yes. say that. Because otherwise it's sounding like a category on like Pornhub or something. <laughs> no, by worship, I just mean like, you know, <clears throat> they can step on me and I'll say thank you. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Oh, that's that is also a I'm sure. I mean, I'm I'm assuming a category <laughs> on Pornhub. <laughs> I, I, I deletes browser history. Chris, Chris and I were talking about something because uh, he sent me a picture of um, 
his Matt Donnelly candle and he's like turns out Matt's Mm -hmm. been looking at me all along and just the way it was angled it was like Matt's looking down on him so I sent him the lyrics to uh, Every Breath You Take by saying and I was like he's he's watching you and we're laughing then I was like I changed the lyrics so a TikTok came up on my feed that was somebody changed the lyrics to a song from Steven Universe and the song from Steven Mm -hmm. Universe is Giant Woman it's about how Steven wants these two gems to fuse to become a giant woman Uh, (laughs) It's, it, out of context, it's really hard to explain. Um, mm. But somebody changed the lyrics to make it in reference to the giant vampire woman from Resident Evil 8. Resident Evil Village. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. like, all I want to do is get... Lady Demescu or whatever yeah, it is, yeah. Demetriscu or whatever it is. But it's like, yeah. all I want to do is get stepped on by you, giant woman. <laughs> I was like, that but mean blood lady! All I want to do is get stepped Martin-esque. on by you a mean blood lady... Mean blonde lady, all I want to be is someone who lies beneath the mean blonde lady. So there we go. That's my life now. I've I've decided. I've decided that um, you just want to be able to sing on every episode of <laughs> Hey Buddy Nice Podcast. You know, I do that, right? And then I listen back to it and I'm like, why the fuck did I do that? Yeah, I don't know. Hey, we, we sung the um, I'm Not Afraid of Ghosts already. So that's, that's true. Fine. That's true. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so what I'm hearing is we should change the, the, the topic. You can change the topic if you want. I'm quite happy to... you don't to... want to be singing. I don't want to be singing. I don't want, want boy talk. I, yeah, I mean, I feel I'm quite happy to shout, my boy! My boy! Yeah. <laughs> my boy! See, that is proof of how far we've come in 102 episodes. We know, just like you just then, know to back away from the microphone when shouting like that. That's true. That's true. Yeah. It's like when you watch a professional singer and they they know they're going to hit a high note, so they pull the microphone away. <laughs> that's, that's what it is. We are am professional. We sure are am. We sure are am. <sighs> I'm getting into the spooky spirit of things. It is October. <clears throat> it is spooky season. It is. Are you watching spooky allowed. things? Uh, you mean the series on Netflix? No, I just uh, no, just because. Uh, oh, I, I've been sorry, I thought about... you were just giving Stranger Things a fancy name. Sorry. No, no. Uh, I, I I've been thinking about. I've never watched the Saw films all the way through. Like I've never seen a Saw film no. all the way through. But I was thinking oh, about watching really? them. Yeah, I'm kind of fascinated. Okay. I'm kind of fascinated by Jigsaw, and I do love Tobin Bell. Mm. So yeah. Uh, like there, there are some new things coming out on one of the streaming services that we're not going to name by name because there are multiple streaming services available for your perusal and your choice, and mm-hmm. it is your choice and a valid one. Is uh, it the red anyway, one, the on, blue one? It was or Netflix. The, yeah, it, it was the red one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you can't say the blue one because the blue one is also Stan in Australia. So, uh, but I mean, it doesn't matter because you could guess because he, I'm assuming he has a contract with them. But Mike Flanagan, do you like the Mike Flanagan stuff? The Haunting of Hill House, um, oh, things like that. I liked The Haunting of Hill House, but I didn't like the stuff after. Really? Yeah. Okay. Because it was, it, it was like, this, sec- is, this is the exact same thing. but mm. Sort of, but um, yeah. But since, um, what was the second one? Second series. Uh, Mike Flanagan. It's just going to take me a sec. Oh, is, are you talking about The Fall of the House of Usher? The Blind yes, Manor was the second out. one. Bly Manor. So yeah, since the since the haunting of Bly Manor, uh, I can never pronounce his name correctly. Uh, Raul Coley. Coley. Do you know Ooh. how to pronounce his name? Raul. Co- yeah. He's Raul been Coley. in them. R- Raul Coley. Yeah, yeah. He's been in the Mike Flanagan stuff. Oh. So he was also in Midnight Mass. I didn't realize uh, he did he Midnight was- Mass as well. I need to watch that. Yes. And the Midnight Club is a series that's also really good, but mm. got cancelled. Right. So mm-hmm. not being renewed for a second season, but it was left with so many unanswered questions. Mm-hmm. Mike Flanagan, Flanagan has come out and explained everything, as in the direction it was going to go yeah. and, and all this, because it's, it's based on a series of books as well. I don't know if it's a series uh, right, or a yeah. bunch of standalone books by a particular author. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I've, I'm, a, I'm a bit sad that it's not getting a second season. Well, um, it's but- funny you say that. Because uh, there's, we'll go back to Mike Flanagan in a minute because I do want to talk about the fall of the yeah. house washer. But um, yes. there was a TV series here in the UK called Whitechapel, and I've, yes, I've seen it. Well, did you watch uh, the whole well, thing? Because well, there was four CDs. Yeah, yeah, that was the cliff, the one with the cliff, the 
boy at the bottom of the cliff? Broad or is that church. Else? That That's Broad, broad ch- Church. Okay. What's ch- what, what's White Chapel? They're both sort of religious based. <laughs> the names. <laughs> so White Chapel was a a detective like police series, but it was always a bit weird. Um, so the first series was there was a bunch of killings that were pretty much like Jack the Ripper, and so they were yeah. trying to find somebody who was like Jack the Ripper. Second, I'm series, sure I've seen it. So the second series was the Cray Twins, and then the third and the fourth was like there was, uh, it was like sets of two episodes, mm. you know, to do things like that. But it went a bit like supernatural and paranoid. And then by the end of the fourth series, there was a cliffhanger. And it never got renewed for series five. Oh. And very recently, somebody reached out to the writers and was like, yeah. what was going to happen? Yeah, where were and, you going with this? Yeah, and they emailed back and gave a whole explanation of what was going to happen. Cool. And that person posted it online. And I was like, oh my God, I know the ending to Whitechapel. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, and it was, it was going to be yeah. really good. But I, I remember watching mm. it because it was in my uh, League of Gentlemen era and Steve Pemberton's in it. Ah. Uh. Yes, I just noticed that. I don't, I don't recognize anything that I'm seeing, but I know the name, Whitechapel. So it's, maybe it's it definitely something. one to watch. It's definitely a good yeah. one. If I haven't watched it, I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and say Kez probably has. Mm. It's... Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, but Fall of yeah, House of Usher. F- Fall of House of Usher. I could tell just by looking at the poster thing on Netflix mm-hmm. that it was a Mike Flanagan. I was like, I'm pretty <laughs> sure it's a Mike Flanagan. I'm going to have to Google it. Mm-hmm. And then Kez had watched the uh, start of the trailer or something and then sort of realized it was Mike Flanagan as well. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, yeah, I knew it was. Yeah. Um, but I like that Mike Flanagan... Just like Wes Anderson, uh, and I guess you know um, Tarantino and mm. Scorsese reuses actors. Yes, he, he, yeah, he has this, uh, his like, certain people that he likes to work with, and also yep. I noticed Kate is it Kate Seagal, Kate Kate Seagal. Yeah, that's his wife. Oh, really? Yeah, for uh, Leela. Ah, uh-huh. uh, the, the mum from Eight Simple Rules. <laughs> The mum from Eight Simple Rules. That's how I know her. That shows that shows our age difference. <laughs> the mum from Married with Children. <laughs> Was she married with children? I didn't know that. Let, let me make sure that I'm not. <laughs> Yes, Kate Segal. Uh, Kate Segal was Peggy in Married with Children. Peggy Bundy. Wow. Mother of Bud and can't remember Christina Applegate's. Um, <laughs> character's name and now you're gonna be like christina applegate was in married with children i didn't know who else was in it the guy from modern family i was gonna say is that the one for (laughs) jay's it's only when you said bundy i went oh yeah that's the one with this al bundy yeah there you go uh (laughs) yeah i try i tried to start re-watching that years ago married with children i couldn't do it it doesn't i say re-watching as a kid i didn't watch it religiously but I knew enough about it to, to when it was on to mm-hmm. be like, yay, married with children. Uh, but yeah, House of Usher. I'm looking that's, forward to it. That's not Kate, That's not who you think it is, by the way. What, Kate Segal? Yeah, that's not Peggy from Married with Children. Y- yes, it is. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Her name is very similar, but yes, that's it is. not who it is. Oh, that's Katie Segal. Segal. And Katie... Oh, okay. Yeah, Kate Segal who? is like with E-I. Ah. Uh. Okay. I was like, she's awful young yes. to be that. Yeah, yeah. That's why Kate Siegel is in everything of Mike Flanagan mm-hmm. <laughs> as well. Okay. I see our confusion here. Kate Seagal. <laughs> My confusion is I typed in Kate Seagal, S-E-G-A-L, mm-hmm. and it only had pictures of Katie Seagal, who is the voice of Leela. So yeah, you confirmed think- it by saying yes when I said the voice of Leela. So yeah, I think so. Yeah, I've I've got it wrong. I I am. We both do. We both we're both very confused because this woman has a very very similar name. Oh uh, yeah. But yeah, voice of Leela, Katie Segal is is yeah. uh, married with children. Peggy Bundy, mum from Eight Simple Rules. Uh, not, not the mum from Eight Simple Rules. Yeah, she is. Katie Segal K- yeah. is the mum from Eight Simple Rules. Oh okay, so you had that right as well. Uh, yeah. So that so in my head. We had the same person in our heads, but okay. I didn't realise that's... Yeah. Where did you go wrong? You went wrong thinking that Kate Siegel was Katie Seagal yes. by name. Yes. Okay. So that's why you confirmed when I said voice of Leela. Yes, because we had the same person in our heads who we were imagining. Oh, one brain. Yeah, one brain. 
I think I think if anyone is at fault in this, if anyone is in fault, mm-hmm. it's got to be Kate Siegel. Yes, for having such a similar name. Yeah. How dare? Yeah, no, just for existing, yeah. you know? <laughs> because, yeah, no, you can't blame her unless she's chosen her name and changed her name. Because yeah. then you would have to blame her parents. Mm-hmm. So, But it's like... I mean, just, she just was Siegel existing. That And I don't blame her for changing her name, to be honest. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. I was like, that, I don't understand what you're saying. <laughs> but, yeah. Siegel Balm is the name. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. Uh, but yeah, spooky season. You probably can't quite tell, but I'm wearing my spooky shirt. I did one think of my it looks awful spooky. Yeah. Yeah. See, it's got like spider webs and mm-hmm. roses and skeletons on it. Mm. But the skeletons are all in weird poses. Yeah. And... One of the reasons I stopped wearing this shirt, I mean, one of the reasons is because it no longer fits me because uh, it's it was in the in-between phase. Yeah. So, it, 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 yeah. But now, it, because any time I look at it, it makes me think of an episode of 8 Out of 10 Cats Does Countdown mm-hmm. with Johnny Vegas, where he's wearing a shirt. I know exactly where this is got, going. It's got all these silhouettes of women in, like, compromising <laughs> positions. <laughs> And I think, was that not because he wore a branded t-shirt and to the studio? I think studio, that was the joke. And it yeah. was like, yeah. no, but there was a, that happened at least once. And the only yeah. reason you Multiple know that times, he's not yeah. making it up is because the shirt he is wearing fits him so fucking poorly. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it I just makes Johnny me think Vegas. of that every time. Johnny Vegas is great. I haven't seen him pop up in anything in a while. I, I, oh no, he was doing that uh, like some caravan show or something. I can't remember. I think maybe the last thing I did see him pop up in was like eight out of ten cats does countdown. Yeah, but he was do he had a show. Um, oh, it's probably a couple of um, years oh, ago. No, now. I know, I'm, I know which one you mean the the murder thing. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty good. Um, murder, they hope. Yes. And oh. I can't see. Maybe, maybe it wasn't. Maybe it wasn't Johnny Vegas in this other show. I tried to watch the first episode, and it was I don't know something to do with caravans. I don't know. Yeah, don't death know. on the Tyne, murder on the Blackpool Express, that kind of thing. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it was like TV films, but. Ooh, he's in a movie called Romantic Getaway uh, with Ramesh Ramang- Ramesh Renang Ramesh Ranganathan. And Catherine Ramesh. Ryan. I think I think it's hard to say because you're you're putting names. So Ramesh Ranganathan. Ranganathan, yes. Yeah. Ramesh Ranga Nathan. <laughs> That's how it's spelled. Mm-hmm. Uh, looking for other names, but don't recognise any. But uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Ramesh from Rame- Robin Ramesh. Yep. Fame. Yes. <laughs> As if he's never done anything else in his life. Yeah. Exactly. The, the only <laughs> that we say of thing. fame. Yeah, because of the Ramesh, uh, uh, Robin Ramesh versus. Yes. <laughs> Is that what it was called? Yeah. Yeah. Robin uh, Ramesh Penn versus Penn and Teller versus Magic. Yeah. Versus Magic. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but also, I'm keeping it spooky on my streams as well. Ooh. So last week on my drawing stream, mm-hmm. I've, I've learned that I have to vamp for a little while before okay. I start streaming, just while the audience builds. Mm hmm. So I don't start my actual drawing. Uh, and I, I've, I've had spooky music playing on the pre-roll. Mm-hmm. And it plays throughout the drawing stream as well. And then I, I just started talking about how spooky it was in my house. And that it's because there are ghosts in my house. And then I started talking about the ghosts and I started drawing different ghosts and telling mm-hmm. a little story about that. So uh, I'm, I think that is something that I've learned from watching other Twitch streamers is to not get to the content straight away. So mm-hmm. you have a bit of pre-roll yeah. for, for audience to start, and then you vamp for a little bit to for, for, everyone, for everyone else to start arriving. Mm-hmm. So I did that again this week, and I was talking about how there was a portal to some other dimension, potentially hell, in my kitchen, mm-hmm. and there was this weird thing coming out of the ground, and I started to draw it, and someone said that it was actually a Furby. And it looks like a Furby. But that's not the point. The point is, it was about half an hour, 45 minutes till I actually started drawing the comic <laughs> because of this vamp pre mm-hmm. <laughs> So maybe it is the wrong thing to do because I get distracted very easily. Yes. Uh, and I will stick with a bit and go off on a tangent 
like that. It's it's what I do. So I I, I must stop doing that. Yeah, but you were going to ask my me. Adventure- oh, you 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 continue. But you were- yes. No, no. I was going. No, no. I'm going to ask you. Cool. Uh, all of this week, I've noticed that seven billion needles has been in the chat. Have you left a device on and open somewhere by accident? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Which device was it? My laptop. Uh, so when I was working... Hey, uh, and it's good for advertising revenue. Yeah, when I was... Uh, <laughs> you were When you were doing your Red Dead Redemption one, uh, to put yeah, me on mute, yeah. uh, my, my laptop, I didn't close out of your stream. Yep. I just left it on and it must I didn't realise that it would yeah. essentially leave me logged on to your stream for the entire yeah. time oh uh, you're not there anymore though now <laughs> no that's because when I opened up my laptop to record uh, it said there's been a problem with connecting I was like oh I'm still on yeah. Wayne Street oh Gammy's on there right now Ooh. Seb okay well Gammy's on there I'm gonna go to oh I'm not live so I can't run an ad oh well <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but yeah, anyway, in my research uh, for this, mm-hmm. for things I should do for streaming, mm-hmm. I started looking at other people's channels, uh, what other streamers are doing, mm-hmm. specifically art streaming ones. I f- found a side of Twitch I did not know existed, and I can only describe it as Thirst Trap Twitch. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh and they're allowed. They are allowed to get away with this, like uh, because PG in, only fans. In the it, 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 this is not PG only. No. <laughs> uh, uh, but then again, can you rate art? I yeah. say in mm. quotes. Um, in the in the community guidelines, nudity is not allowed. Yes. Uh, you're allowed side boob. Mm-hmm. You're not allowed nipple. Mm-hmm. You're not allowed under boob. Not allowed unless. Under boob. Yeah, no, that one confused me a little bit. Wait, where's, um, so where does it stop being side boob and starts being under boob? Yes, valid point. <laughs> uh, and cleavage. Or maybe it is no side boob as well. Maybe it's just cleavage to a point. <laughs> it's, I can't remember the exact wording. Um, but no, the, the exceptions are obviously things like breastfeeding, mm-hmm. um, but also body painting, uh, right? Uh-huh. <sighs> the, it's it's insane. To their credit, yes, they are painting on their bodies. Mm-hmm. They are painting over their breasts, etc. But when they include in the stream title shower and jumping jacks, it's a little bit something else, don't you think? <laughs> I'm like, it's fine. I like go for it. Yeah. You're making money. You it's do. Per- you it's do. great. Yeah, but I it's I, I'm surprised that. That they can get away with it based on the community guidelines. That's what my issue is, right? Mm-hmm. It, it's letter of the law, spirit of the law kind of thing, maybe. I don't know. But this particular one that I came across, um, it said uh, unbanned stream because they had obviously been banned, yeah. but probably automatically. Mm. And when it gets revealed that they were within the guidelines, it's like, yes, they're playing within the law. Mm-hmm. I, 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 that is what I actually like about it. Yeah. I, they, they make money. They, they've got to be making money. Yeah, good for them. I think it's a, probably a good alternative to like doing like OnlyFans or something like that. Mm-hmm. If they don't want to like go that far. Yeah. I, when I was talking to Kez about it, uh, she said they may as well do OnlyFans. They'd probably make a lot more money. And I was like, hmm, maybe I should start an OnlyFans. And then she... <laughs> Uh, then straight away, I was like, nah, nobody wants to see that. And then Kez goes, oh, you'd be surprised. <laughs> I thought, I like, do you think there's like, because you know how Mox and Pen were talking about that guy on Pornhub who's just the Pornhub magician? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think there's something like that for OnlyFans where it's like, there's no actual nudity or something. It's just like, because oh, there yeah, has to be no, somebody I who just th- posts feet, yes. feet pics, hand pics. Yeah, no, no. They're, um, Chumley. Did you ever watch Porn Stars? The P-A-W-N? Yes. About the porn shop? Yeah, Chumley. He, uh, as far as I'm aware, he used to. He might still have an OnlyFans where it was 100% family-friendly stuff. Hmm. So, yeah. But then I was thinking, yeah, you get an audience on Twitch, right? Mm-hmm. But you, you make money from advertising revenue if you're running advertisements on your channel during your stream. Yeah. And also from kind viewers who subscribe. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I, I 
feel like I need to do the research into like these um, cam streaming websites, right? You want to be a cam boy. And pl- but only playing video games on it. So only streaming the video games. Hmm. Because that works on a on a system of um, like points or tips or something, right? Yeah. So if people don't have to subscribe, they can just continuously give you money or whatever it is, credits or something. Mm-hmm. So just play like the latest game that's out. You got you got. I, I'm assuming the majority of the viewers are men. Mm-hmm. Play the latest games. They've you know they've had a good time already. They're, they're, they're now ready to relax. It's like, oh, look, someone's playing video games. Let's watch them for a while. I don't know. Microphone there, abuse. There could be something in this. You you investigate and you let me know. I will. I'll investigate and see if I need to take off my pants or not. And <laughs> then, then that might break the deal. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but then again, how do I make it spooky? I'll just wear this shirt. There you go. Yeah. Oh, I have my little puppet guy, Topless. Yes. There we go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll work. All right. But then again, the thing is, to do the research, it's th- there's a there's a a lot of things attacking the eyes to do that research. Is it worth it though? Hmm. Maybe I can just um, go straight to the end user license agreement. Yeah. And just see what their community guidelines... Community guidelines. Oh, yeah, I guess those stuff community guidelines. I don't know. Uh, it's... I don't know. Maybe maybe people already do it. Maybe people already play video games on these sites. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. Right. Do you, Are you going to consume something today? Are you consuming a drink for, um, can't for cultural exchange? I'm just asking. We don't have to because it's on a bank episode where this originally happened. I'll maybe leave it today because uh, I already have a drink and I'm I really really enjoy okay. this one. Uh, yep. So. Oh, as Brogan takes a sip of the the bunny energy. It's raspberry That's lemonade I only today. Refer to it. Angry bunny. Um, I did see a child drinking something that they shouldn't have been drinking. Actually. What does that mean? They were consuming something in their mouth that is a liquid that they I should meant- not be consuming. <laughs> I'm. <laughs> I meant what were they not supposed to be consuming? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I walked in. I walked into the shopping uh, shopping center, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and a- as you're aware, we live in a world post COVID. Yes. Post COVID. Uh, again, using those quotation marks mm. around post. Yeah. Uh, so they they shopping centers and places like this, places of business, still have those hand sanitizer machines. No. As you walk in. No. Yes. Yes. Why? I don't know. Who but the like f- all the kids, there was like three kids. The mother had kept on walking, not paying attention. And she's yelling at them, catch up, catch up. And then two of the kids run. And then the youngest of them all, younger than school age, I want to say. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's still there. And I walk past and I see them putting their hand under it, licking their hand. I'm like, I'm not going to say anything. It's not my job. If that child dies, it's on the mother. It's on the shopping center. It's I on the mean, manufacturer of the hand sanitizer. Even once you put hand sanitizer on, and even after you wash your hands a couple of times, you can still kind of like if you yeah pick up something and it's still why why would you purposefully mm. do that? Hand sanitizer is a last resort if you are about to eat or, or like have your yeah. face and fingers coincide in the same physical space at the same time. Yeah, and even then, I probably wouldn't. I probably mm, like well, only if I was using cutlery because I don't want that taste yeah. in my mouth. Yeah, it's not nice. Gross. I mean, it is alcohol. <laughs> that, there's that as well. Yeah, which is yeah. No, thank you. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about for the child. I'm, we know how yeah, you, where uh, you stand yeah. on alcohol. Yeah, that's true. I was forgetting that we were we talking about so childishness. Much, yeah, yeah. We know so much about where you stand on alcohol that you even posted about not drinking alcohol uh, <laughs> recently when you went out for lunch. Yeah. Drinking non-alcohol, I should say. <laughs> yeah. So uh, when I was last in Glasgow, Vicky and I, it, just just after PD, and Vicky and I had Ooh. had a really long fucking week. So uh, actually, no, I'm, I say just after PD, but we'd been paid relatively recently. Okay. So uh, can I also just say 
it, there was no equinox going on. The week was as long as any other. I, when I say a long week, I mean that it was like fucking horrendous, and it just yeah, okay, yeah. Because Fair. not only work stuff had happening, other stuff had been happening. We were a bit mm. like, oh my god. So, and I don't go through to Glasgow often, but I happen to be going through to Glasgow for something for training purposes. And Vic was like, mm. let's do lunch. And I was like, that sounds good. So we're originally going to go over to one of the other places. There's a place called New York Bar, which is over the road from work, which is fine. We've okay. been there a couple of times. Uh, but then one of the solicitors was like, oh, you should go to Bread Meets Bread because they've got a lunch deal on. And we're like, there's a Bread Meets Bread near here. I've never been to Bread Meets Bread. Uh, I've never even heard of it. It's, I think it is a UK uh, business that they've only they've only got locations in the UK it, just now. It sounds like a sandwich shop. Uh, it's a burger joint. Oh. So, uh, but it's it's quite Speaking fancy. My language. They do they do poutine as well. Oh, so it's not a burger joint. It's a burger joint. Yeah. So, mm. so I was like, you know what? Poutine. I kind of I kind of fancy going there and. As much as New York bars fight, I always go in there and I'm always fucking freezing in that place. As someone who has actually been to New York, how does it compare? Shite. There we go. Um, so, but Bread Street, it's a bit of a further walk, so we went down there. Um, okay. But we checked before we went, uh, because obviously I'm a, I'm a bit nervous when it comes to like specifically burger joints, because obviously you're mm. like... <sighs> Is it just going to be meat? Do they? Have, but they had a whole section that was vegan options, and I was like, "Oh, cool!" So they had a burger called Vegan Caribbean, which was their vegan burger patty with a caramelized on a caramelized fake vegan bacon, a crispy mm-hmm. onions, and ve- vegan mayo, and a, it said sweet potato on it. What it actually meant was sweet potato fries. Oh, good. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, because I thought it was just going to be like strips of sweet potato. I was like, but I was a like, whole go. sweet potato next to the burger. <laughs> but it was sweet potato fries, which was which was good. But it just you just get your burger. You have to order extras and sides separately. Well, yeah, which yeah, that's, and because uh, standard. Well, I kind of expected to come out with chips or something like that. Well, it did sweet potato fries? Well. On the burger. Oh. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh, all right. Gotcha now. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Uh, so when the, when the burger came out and it was just the burger on the plate, I was like, oh, okay, cool. Uh, but see, eating it, it was perfect. It Like, I, I was stuffed. It was... Yeah. The, it <sighs> looks nice on, it, the, on that Twitter photo. It was fucking good. And yeah. because we were like... We were like, it's been a long week. Uh, they also had mocktails on there. And I was uh, like, you know what? I want a virgin pina colada. And Vic, cause, and Vic had said, can I have a full fat Coke? And then I said, can I have a virgin pina colada? She's like, we're doing mocktails? I was like, yeah. I said this to you at the office. And she was like, scratch that. This one. So the, she. The, no, okay. The, does Vicky drink alcohol? Yes. Did she go a mocktail or did she go a cocktail? She went mocktail because we did. Aww. We were working and we did have to go back to the office and like, she did have to like release payments. <laughs> so one drink, one cocktail, <laughs> nah. a breath mint. Okay. You're all good. You're good to go. Or you just get like something with um, creme de mint in it. I think she was worried that if she started, she wouldn't stop because it had been that kind of week. Ah, oh, so she does like her alcohol, you know, you she know what does. I mean? She, like, she likes really likes her alcohol. alcohol. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Does Vicky listen? No. Mm-hmm. She really <laughs> likes her alcohol. Uh, so yeah, so that was that was quite good. Um, that that was a nice lunch. I would definitely 100% go back there. And it's cool. closer to my new place. Mm. Oh, new place, which is unbeknownst to <laughs> listeners at this stage. I don't know. I mean, I, I make no secret about it people yeah ask me about it people you know I, i'll bring it up in conversation i was actually the, uh, specifically told not to mention it to the person who is start who they've hired to do aml oh, sorry they cannot silence you <laughs> what well, I are said, they thinking I, well i said to to the partner because we're like oh don't tell don't tell them this because we don't want to freak them out i was like look <laughs> they're coming into edinburgh it's like i can like omit this information but i'm not making promises on behalf of anyone else and they're yeah, like oh yeah. mm, mm, okay 
uh, and then you and were what ta- are you meant to do if they ask you? Well, there wasn't. It wasn't just that we were talking about stuff, and I was like, we're we're moving into. If I start talking about this, I'm moving into lying territory. So yeah, I was exactly. like, listen, they didn't want me to tell you this because they don't want you to freak out. But here's the situation. Mm. So yeah, but who knows? I haven't spoken to to Derek in a week and a half. Yeah. Close so you two. have you actually have told this new hire that you told them the whole situation? Yes. You did tell them? Yes. Told okay. them the whole story. After the, after the spiel, did you say, and by the way, you should listen to a little podcast called Hey Buddy, Nice Podcast. I did not. Oh, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> next, next time. Next yeah. time. Next time. You'll see, you'll see him again. <sighs> um, speaking of uh, lunches. Mm-hmm. I think I've already talked about this place. Uh, the the place up the road now is replaced the... Maybe I haven't. Maybe I talked about it on the drawing stream. But there's a new coffee shop. Um, uh, it's taken over the, pr- the premises of mm-hmm. where the restaurant I used to work at, which is literally walking distance. Have mm-hmm. I not talked about this? No. Okay, cool. Well, I got a free coffee from them. They're basically, it's, oh, it's run by the same guy who I had a coffee at another one of his joints. Didn't know that. I'm like, why the fuck would they open a coffee shop in Heathridge? Because basically, it's a it's a it's a it's an established mm-hmm. popular franchise. Well, not not really franchise because it's a one guy who has multiple cafes, mm-hmm. and they pride themselves on being uh, doing sandwiches. Mm-hmm. So I'm interested to check them out. And the coffee they do is, is really good. I mean, really, this is coffee talk. I should have hit the coffee talk button, but I'm not going to because it's too late. Um, so, but like you just said, we had just been paid. We should treat ourselves. I, can't, I, I don't even have that option at the moment. How is the job hunt going? Are you finding anything interesting? Squeeze me? A baking powder? A job hunt? <laughs> Who, 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 who's hunting for a job? <laughs> <laughs> so you can get no, back. I, Just having a- I, 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 I quit my job because I need to not work <laughs> at the moment. Yeah. 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 Uh, no, I, I mean, my brother has mentioned to me uh, that more than likely if I need work, I can pick up some shifts maybe as a delivery driver kitchen hand at, i remember at you saying so. this so that's good yeah yeah was that john or but ryan no. uh now it is john it mm. would have used to be john and ryan because they both worked there but ryan now has a new job Ooh, where's ryan off to uh can we not see speaking of coffee talk <laughs> no no we I, I, he's told me i don't think he's signed an nda or anything but no speaking of coffee talk this is coffee talk directly coffee talk related right do you want to press the button um fuck it hell i will <laughs> I will. Where is it? I pushed it. Doesn't want to play. It's time for Coffee Talk. Saving those turtles one straw at a time. Uh, so he's, he, he, uh, he hasn't worked. I didn't know that he's not worked for three months at the restaurant due mm. to reasons uh that's that makes it sound even more ominous than it actually is uh, mm-hmm. he, 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 he hasn't been working there um and uh he said that he's got he's starting a new job mm-hmm. uh and the details of this job uh, like the the wage etc i was like huh okay <laughs> um sign me up please <laughs> uh but no it, it's sales it, it's a sales assistant at a place called sydney tools mm. uh so it's like a big um uh hardware store i guess mm-hmm. For tools, yeah, <laughs> you know, drills, hammers, ladders, that sort of shit. Uh, when I was around this place the other day, uh, when he was fixing up my switch, and I got the coffee machine, yeah, mm-hmm. his backup coffee machine. This was the coffee machine that he bought, purchased for his previous job, where they so so he doesn't have to buy coffees, right? right you make yeah. a coffee at work, it pays for itself. Mm-hmm. So I I said, look. If you need it back when you start your new job, whatever, just let me know. He sent me a message <laughs> saying, so, how are you finding the coffee machine? Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> I'm like, oh, it's really good. I like it a lot. I love it. <laughs> it is amazing. <laughs> and he said, oh, cool. And then he said, because I'm considering buying this one for the new job. I'm like, oh, thank fuck. <laughs> he's not asking for it back. Oh, good. So, he's like, so you may as well keep that one. I'm like, good, because I, it's 
I like having a coffee machine because I can't go out and buy coffees at, at the moment. So, and, oh, that's and good. I don't need I don't need to with mm. this. Yeah. Oh. So that, that's been that's been paying off. Free, free coffee been... machine from the brother. Very nice. Yeah, we like it. Yeah. Hmm. And uh, the thing is, I still do have a packet and a half of the pods that go mm-hmm. on my little pod machine. Yeah. So I'm, I'm, I'm mixing it up. Like a couple of times this week, I had the pods for my iced coffee. This morning, I I, I had some espresso for my oh. iced coffee. Um, I'm still getting the hang of it. I thought I had it down pat, but I fucked it up today. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I packed it too hard or too much in the double shot, but it started to I actually think it was too much too loose mm. because it ran clear very early because I don't care about oh I need a precise pour of a shot of coffee I just hold down the button until I've got enough coffee to add to a cup of milk and ice that it fills up my giant yeti right yeah. right my yeah. drink receptacle so I know how much it should fill up a mug mm-hmm. and it ran so I was like oh you know what I'll just do another one shot right mm-hmm. and run that until it goes clear when I finished the two shot, I took off the, I don't know, the, the lingo, the handle thing with the coffee in it. Yep. It like exploded. It went, ooh, like yeah. Coffee grinds everywhere. Loose, loosely packed. Yeah. Okay. So that's what it was. I forget that you've baristaed as well. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you, you know what I was doing wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Do, do yeah. you have the little stamper thing down? The tamp? Yeah. Yes, it comes with a tamp. Yeah. yeah. See, Ryan told me, because it's different for every coffee machine. With his, you have to tamp it down really tight. This one, you're meant to do kind of mid. I would do always it, do it tighter than you expect it to because yeah, it's, it's going to give a, a stronger coffee. Yeah. So I think I'm going to experiment next time tomorrow morning yeah uh i'm gonna tamp it down really hard i think the first time i did it i tamped it down really hard but i might have had too much so nothing no water came through no, no water came out <laughs> yeah so i i don't know if that was too tamped too hard or if it was just too much in the do you know what the thing is called the receptacle uh, filter the filter thing yeah, yeah something know. like that i can't remember yeah 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 so i'm gonna do i'm gonna do less but tamp it down really hard mm-hmm. and see. Yeah. Because that might mean uh, it it pours for longer. I don't know. I just I need it to work. I need it to give me the right amount of liquid. That's mm. all. Yeah. Because the taste is going to be the same if it comes out right. So yeah. I don't know. It's fun. It's fun to fuck around with <laughs> and find out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'd I'd never I've n- I'd, I had never steamed milk before. Ooh. With a steamer, and I have my little stainless steel jug, mm-hmm. and um, uh, I, it's like it, it take. I didn't realize how long it takes to actually heat up the milk. And yeah. Kez was like, "No, just when the side when you can't hold your hand to the side, that's hot enough for me." It wasn't mm-hmm. uh, whether it was just the properties of this steel jug or whatever. I don't know, but I'm moving it around, and it's like I guess there's still steam coming out. I should find out. I go to take the whole jug away out from it. Milk goes everywhere. Yeah. You should uh, always remove it think- slowly because you can see the bubbles. And that yeah. depends how you... Yes. That makes a difference between latte milk and cappuccino milk. Yes. Yeah. I, I, uh, yeah. Kez filled me in on that pretty quickly as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, I'm, I, it's something that you think you would think I should know with my coffee consumption. <laughs> It's stuff that I don't know. No, it's one of these that you don't think about if you don't have to do it. Yeah, exactly. I I have people to do this for me, not anymore. <laughs> but I, I enjoy doing it as well. Yeah. Uh, it's fun. Yeah, yeah, I do miss doing yeah. that. Like, I mean, not with coffee, but I used to uh, when I when I worked in Watersons, uh, I would make myself mm. a hot chocolate. So I would, yeah. I would steam the milk and stuff for that, and it always came out really good. Yeah. So how would you do it? Was it powdered or liquid chocolate? Powdered. Okay. So you steam the milk first mm-hmm. and then you put the chocolate in? So uh, chocolate, if I remember right, chocolate would be, because uh, it was always in a takeaway cup, uh, cho- mm. powdered chocolate would be the powdered takeaway cup. I would steam it as though I was making a latte and then pour it in mm-hmm. and we had to whisk. <clears throat> yeah. Just yeah. whisk it up okay, like that. Cool. I might, I'm, oh, I don't have enough milk to do a coffee and a hot chocolate tonight. As in a coffee tomorrow and a hot mm. chocolate tonight. But I'm going to, I'll have to buy some more milk because I, I want to make a hot chocolate. Yeah. I want to make a hot chocolate. Um, but uh, this, this one, it's also meant to come with a 
uh, a filter that goes into the handle thing mm-hmm. that supports the pods as well that I have. Ooh. But Ryan, Ryan lost it. <laughs> he doesn't know where it is. <laughs> so at the moment, I'm having to use the little Nespresso, George Clooney backed um, <laughs> coffee pod machine and the, the, the DeLonghi, mm-hmm. whatever it is. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't mind having to move things around to do yeah. it. I had to rearrange the the whole setup. We we got rid of our desktop oven. I think I talked about the new air fryer. Yes. We got the new air fryer. Yeah, that's set up at the other end now, and the coffee machine's down near the fridge. And look, I can show you. I can just do this, and you can see. See? We're getting a tour. There you go. Amazing, hey? Okay. Yeah. That, that, you've just seen half of my house. <laughs> yeah. True story. And now my monitor is all skimmer. There we go. Oh, it's an earthquake. Oh, ah. oh Sorry, no, you're being space gag. jammed. <laughs> yes. Uh, space jammed. Space jammed to death. <laughs> Have you seen Space Jam 2? I have I don't really care. It's a question I ask, but I don't... Good, good. That that puts an end to that yeah. perfectly. Uh, I'm out of things to talk about, Brogan. I don't know about you. I don't know. I mean, I was thinking the other day... <laughs> About, I mean, was that you trying to end the episode, or did you change? No, no, it was legitimately asking. But then the answer was, I don't know. We could just sit here, like (laughs) I don't know, looking at each other for the next fifteen minutes. Well, no, I was thinking about this like earlier um, when we were talking about spooky stuff, and we Mm -hmm. always, you know, say we should try and find something that you know you and I can play on stream and game wise. Yes. Yeah. What about Evil Dead? Yeah, yeah. I think, that's, I think that's we should try one. it. Yeah, we should try that yeah. for the for the spooky season. Yeah. Yep. That sounds good. Well, yeah. I, I've made the suggestion that some point later tonight for me, today for you, mm-hmm. we do a drawing stream because mm-hmm. it's been a while. Yeah. Um, probably well over a year. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe next time we do the Evil Dead. Yeah. 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 Which they've just cancelled all the add-on, like all the expansions and shit for. Have they? Shit. Yeah. That they're not going ahead with. That's a shame. Probably it probably didn't have the player retention. Probably I'm not. Guessing that's what it was. But yeah. Oh well. Oh, well. I still need to play it. Uh, I would like to play it. Yeah. Evil Dead games are usually terrible, <laughs> but hopefully this is good. <laughs> it looks. It, it certainly looks it's, really yeah. good. You know. It does. Yeah. But there's also been yeah. like a load of games kind of Detective Pikachu Returns. Came just out. came out. Yeah. Just came out. Have and I've seen the reviews. Is it good or bad? Game is good, a little basic with the puzzle solving and stuff, like the cases. Yeah. What it's getting bagged for is, like, the, the graphic, the models, they're all nice and that. Everything looks good. Yeah. It runs well. There is no lighting. It is flat as fuck. Oh, really? Yeah. And I've only seen screenshots, and I'm like, yeah, that isn't good. I mean, they could have done some pre-rendered shadows even, and it would be better. It's mm. like, oh, this is not good at all. But I'm still going to oh, play it. Oh, yeah. I see what you mean. Yeah. Even the original looks a bit better. Yeah, on the 3DS, yeah. Yeah. I, I've Which I never played. I never played that either. And uh, I didn't realise mm. until much later that uh, Detective Pikachu speaks like speaks English in it. And yeah, Detective Pikachu. He speaks kind of like this. Like a detective. I don't think he does. I think he's got like a really like Shannon voice. Apparently. Hello, I'm, Big, I'm Detective Pikachu. How are you Pretty today? much. I heard it. I was like, what nah. the fuck? D- see, I resonate with Detective Pikachu because he loves his coffee. No, yeah. de- 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 Detective Pikachu, he's kind of like a New York and sort of not, not that not that deep, but we'll, we'll look into it we'll post show it. anyway. Yeah, but I, yeah. Uh, the reason I realized that P- uh, Detective Pikachu came out on the other day was because I, I picked up playing Pokemon Go again. Mm-hmm. Uh so I've got that on thing. But when I was uh, <laughs> we were sitting in the hospital <laughs> for my appointment for undisclosed reasons. Yep. Uh, yep. Bergen I, had a brain anectomy. <laughs> I, uh, it came up on the screen that I was able to catch a, a slowpoke. And I'm like, what? What the fuck is that Aww. thing? And it I really should have been a chancy. And it had a hat. <gasps> I was like, are you fucking slowpoke kidding me? Slowpoke with a hat? Slowpoke with a little hat on it. And I was like, wow. I don't know, I don't know if this is a glitch or what the fuck is going on. And then <laughs> later on, I was able to catch a Detective Pikachu, and I was like, oh, oh for Detective Pikachu, that yeah. makes more sense. I was like, oh, okay. Yep. So I have multiple yep. little slowpokes with hats on them, and That's I'm very cool. happy about that. <sighs> I need to make some dinner, so we need to end this, Brogan. 
We're ending it before I take more pink colors. So cool. Yeah. Uh, if you would like to uh, finance our extravagant painkiller um, <laughs> addiction, you can do so by going to patreon.com forward slash nice pod bud and uh, you can sign up and drop a few coin our way monthly. That would be gratefully appreciated. Uh, and you don't get nothing in return. You get stuff. You can just browse our different tiers. There's, there's three tiers where we'll give you things. Even a fourth tier that we never talk about um <laughs> maybe we should start talking about that <laughs> uh, but yeah uh, but if you can't do that that's perfectly fine just uh paying attention to us uh, you know making us uh feel noticed and seen and liked mm -hmm. you know attention whores that we are uh it, it, that that's 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 great that's all we ask for uh at the very least mm -hmm. Um, but you can also support us financially individually if you dare dare want to. And you can do that by going to 7billionneedles.com and purchasing Designs by Brogan. Oh, man, that should, it should have been Designs by Brogan. <laughs> I'm not that fancy. And if you want to support Brogan's Wayne... Designs. And if you want to support Wayne, you can go to twitch.tv slash WayneGeo and watch him do the streaming thing, whatever that may be. Mm -hmm. You can also support me on Patreon as well for, for comic stuff, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm gonna um, get the I'm gonna get the URL designs by Wayne, <laughs> and that's gonna link directly to to my Patreon. Mm -hmm. Actually, I'm not gonna do that because I can't afford to get a domain right now. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, um, anyway, thanks for stopping by and having a listen. As always, stay fresh, cheese bags. Mm.